Hey, welcome to the second video in this tutorial series on sending emails with Django. In this tutorial series, we will focus on filling in this form with a recipient, um, submitting that to our backend, which will then result in both uh, a record being added to our database, but also with us sending a beautifully formatted and customized email to our users. In the previous video, we already uh, configured our uh, Gmail account to send emails with an application. Uh, we've changed the settings of our Django app so we can send emails with Gmail through our app. And we've also created a very basic example where we filled in uh, the email address here. We submitted it, uh, added the record to our database, and then sent this very basic email uh, with a, a subject and a message uh, to the recipient. Uh, today we're going to go a little bit further and we're going to add a nice looking template to our emails uh, and the things we need to do uh, are threefold first off we're going to go to a website where we can very easily create uh, an html template for free and also even without signing up next we are going to make sure that that template uh, gets actually inputted into our django project so we're going to copy the code and paste it somewhere nice and thirdly, we're going to change our view so that the email that we send will use this template and send it uh, to the user. So let's dive in with the first step and go and create our template. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, create a nice looking email design. Um, and of course, you can code this all the way yourself in an HTML file and, and make it all pretty the way you want. But yeah, there is just a very easy service with a drag and drop service, uh, yeah, what, what makes your life a lot easier in designing your email templates. But it even has a lot of examples. So what I typically use is bfree.io. And bfree.io uh, yeah, allows you to create these beautiful email and landing pages very fast. And you don't need to sign up for it, uh, yeah, to, to create these designs. Um, and but I am going to do that because I like to save my designs, get back to it, and uh, yeah, and see uh, what progress I'm making. Um, signing up to this is completely free. You do not need a credit card. You do not need anything. Um, and I'm just going to log in with my test email that I'm also using to uh, send these emails. Doesn't matter how you sign in, but it just makes it quite easy to uh, to do this. So what I'm now going to do, we're going to go to create new. I'm going to create a new email. And this will bring you to a page where you can already see a lot of examples. And if you did not sign in, you just went straight in on Get Started, you will end up in the same place. So it really doesn't matter. So um, you can see here you have a lot of different uh, templates per category. Um, so for example, uh, CVs, events, engagements, uh, it's all been created by other people already. So you can just uh, take the designs and use them for yourself. You can even split across different industries. Uh, so health and wellness, home goods, human resources, particularly tailored to those areas. Uh, but what is mostly interesting for me is automated here, because this shows uh, automated emails that you uh, send quite frequently in your applications. So for example, activation emails, confirmation emails, notification emails, all these things. Welcome emails, it's, it's, it's all very, very, uh, very easy. So for example, if we take a look at password reset, you can just take these generic examples, add your own logo, add, add your own text, and uh, you're good to go. But for this particular one, we are gonna go and send a welcome email. So let's see what types they have here now i already see quite some designs that i like and the one that catches my eye is this one so i'm just going to click on it and that will straight away bring me to a design uh, environment where i can make some changes on my own because of course i will need to have some changes for this to work so the first thing that i notice is that it's quite long there are a lot of companies here that, that don't really uh, yeah, i don't know them. Um, so what I'm going to do is delete some things. So I'm just going to click on this row and delete it. Same here. This one is not relevant. Nope, don't need it. And also this one on the bottom here, I don't really need it. This, I, I like it. If I would have uh, yeah, done this one for my project, I would have changed this to my 
own personal details, but for now I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, yeah, in this quote, I can uh, say something like, my app is a user-friendly uh, software. We need to focus on creating rich and beautiful blank value. I don't know, just some quote that I can send to them. Um, yeah, one other thing, I have a button here. I'm going to uh, guide people uh, to my app. So uh, I say, uh, go to the app. And I'm already going to add a link here. And this is very important because then when you download the template, it's going to already populate that link. You can just change the link and direct them to your, to your actual application. So in this text, I'm going to say, uh, welcome to our application. Um, I hope you enjoy using it. And to, of course, specify a very quick, very small here that it's, that it's addressed to Mike. I'm just going to say, welcome aboard. And then here, eventually we will have to have the name. Now, last thing I hear see a logo. Well, I want to make it my own logo. So let's see what is already in here. I already have my, my logo inserted. And I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller so people know that the email comes from me. I'm going to leave this menu for now, but it's not going to do anything really. Um, so yeah, now we are done and we have a nice template that we can send to our users. So how do we get this inside of our app? Well, it is actually really easy. As you can see here, it is saved. And if you don't have an account, I think you are able to just straight up download it or create an account anyway, save it there. Um, so I'm just going to go and uh, go to my board here where you see all of your projects yep and the last one that i've just did was this one you can see here a very similar uh one so uh, over here you can see also the one that i created a few days before but also the one that i've just right now for some reason it doesn't specify uh, the latest changes that i just made but um, if i go into it i believe you will see that it has the the latest changes let's let's just check that yeah it is customized that's very good so what i will do now go to my projects i can click the three dots and i can say export this and i have a few options you have get the html and the images copy the html and leave your images online um, and also these two pdf and this kind of things I'm going to pick the copy the HTML and leave the images online. And the reason for that is that otherwise you will have to download your images, you will have to put these in the static folder of your app, and you will have to resize them so they are nice in the email. Leaving them on the web is just much more convenient in this case. So I'm just going to copy the HTML and leave the images uh, online. So all I have to do is copy the HTML code, and then we can go into our app and uh, yeah, put that in one of our templates. So we are now back in our code and uh, this is where we're going to store that HTML template. And it's actually really, really easy and convenient because we can just go into our existing templates um, directory. Uh, we can simply create a new file, which we call email.html. And then we can paste in the code from the site. So um, yeah, it actually, as you can see, it, it generates like an HTML template of around 450 uh, rows of code. So doing this through, through a website is just way easier than, uh, than trying attempting it to, to yourself. Um, yeah, later on, we can also slightly customize this to, uh, to represent user information and make sure that uh, it's customized for users. But we'll do that in the next video. So now let's move on and see how we can actually uh, send this template to the users by making some small changes to our views. So we are now in our views at Powerfile because we need to make some changes to uh, yeah, make sure that we can send the HTML template instead of our original message. And to do that, we will need to do some imports because send mail uh, does not do this uh, by default. So the first thing that we're going to import is from django.core.mail and that is the email multi-alternatives which enables uh, attachments to emails, but also using those templates. Uh, to make sure that uh, everything goes well with putting our template inside of the email, 
we're going to import render to string and that comes from django dot template dot loader render to string okay and the last thing that we will need is from django user.html user.html and that is going to be script x and I will explain in a minute what these will actually do. So now uh, here after the validation of our form, we need to make some changes. This my message variable, I can actually go because we're going to send the HTML template. Uh, and the send mail command, we're going to replace that by using an email alternative. So the way that it's going to look in the end is something like this. We're going to define our message as email mode alternatives. Um, and we still need to make sure that we have the subject. So that's the same as what's before. Um, then we are gonna say that from email none. And we need to define who we send it to. That is going to be, again, my recipient. And now one of the more important things is our message. So let's start by defining that here. Because what we want to pass inside of our email is our HTML message. And that is going to be equal to rendered string. And we're going to place the location of our templates here. So it's content slash email dot HTML. You can see here I have template, then content, and then email dot HTML. So that's the reason that we specify it like this. Um, then what we also need is a plain message and what is this plain message going to do well it just extracts the the body of my email without all of the different uh, html tags that you can see inside of our template so to do that we will use the strip tags this just removes all of those tags and make sure that we have the actual content split okay so we now have the actual html we have the plain message and the plain message, we need to include that inside of our email multi alternatives. So in body, I'm going to say here that it's going to be equal to the plain message. So we know what message is actually going to be inside of that email. And now what we need to do is we need to define that message again. And we're going to specify attach alternative. And there we state that what we want to show is going to be our HTML message, which is going to be, of course, nicely formatted. And we can specify that the format of that is equal to the text of HTML. And of course, last but not least, we need to message the send. So we actually send that message. Um, and I think here, right, because we also store this value inside of our database, I'm just going to uh, send something like uh, we have sent this email because I do not want to store the complete HTML or plain message inside of my database. I don't really need that. Uh, so for now, these are the changes we need to make to actually send our email. So let's see whether the, the code that we've changed in our views actually works. So over to our app here, I'm going to put in the email address that I'm going to send my emails to and I click on submit. And I see here on the bottom that we have, uh, yeah, we have a new record, so that's good. And I also see that I have a new email here. And if we check it out, we can of course see our beautiful template. So we see our logo, we see, uh, yeah, the, the nice style of this email. We have a button which takes us uh, right now to my website, but in the future to our app. I can see also all of the images. So that was all for today. Um, yeah, I showed you how you can actually create these templates, uh, how we need to change our code to send these beautiful HTML templates to our user. Uh, and also we tested it and we, it actually works as we expect. Um, in the next video, we're going to focus on uh, customizing these specifically to the users that we send them to. So we're going to uh, import variables inside of our templates. Um, yeah, so that actually it says welcome aboard with the actual name of the user. And we can uh, yeah, play around and see what else we can get inside of this email. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next video.